Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting ready and just playing with makeup. I have a bunch of new makeup and also some old favorites that I have pulled out and I thought it would be fun to sit down in my cozy sweater on this really cold and rainy day and just do some makeup therapy. Now, if you're anything like me, putting on makeup is actually relaxing. So that's what we're going to be doing. So whether it's relaxing to you or not, hopefully you'll find this video just helps you take a moment to decompress from all of the busyness and craziness of the holiday season. Stay tuned to the end. I will share with you some pictures of some Christmas decorations in my house and also pictures of my husband. And just along the way, I will also be sharing a few updates that are going on in my life. So with all of that being said, let's take a deep breath and just have some fun putting on some makeup. So to start off, I am using this new eyeshadow primer. It's the iLift 360 Waterproof Primer and it is by Thrive Cosmetics. And I've only used this a couple of times and just still trying to kind of take note of what it does, how it helps, but it is supposed to have some good skin benefits as well as helping your eyeshadow stay on longer. It also says that you can use it under your eyes. Haven't done that yet. But, but. It does feel just really nice and smoothing on the eyelid. Okay, for foundation, I just got this the other day. It is the new stick foundation from MAC. It's their Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. I have the shade NC13, if that tells you how pale my winter skin is. I've only used this once and it was just for a couple of hours. So still don't know how long this wears, but I'm going straight onto my face with this. And I do feel like this is, I have a little bit of sunless tanner on, so it's gonna look a little bit paler than my skin, but we'll make it work with bronzer. I'm gonna use my 360 Eco Tools brush. I really like this brush. You can just see how quickly that smoothed into the skin. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more right here where I have just a little bit of some redness. And we'll just see how that covers. So that did a pretty good job. It's, I would definitely not say it's full coverage, but um, I think it's buildable to about a medium, but I think it looks real nice. We'll let that sit on the skin. And now I'm gonna go in with a new palette. I was gifted this from Ofra. Thank you to Ofra. This is their Soul Palette, and it is an eye and face palette. These are becoming much more popular these days. And I have tried Ofra um, blushes, a few lip products, and highlighters, but I really don't have any experience with their eyeshadows. And then I think these are brow products. It actually doesn't say on the packaging brow products, but they look like brow colors. And then you can see we've got like, this is a pretty warm bronzer blush, a banana powder, and then another highlighter. But you may notice all of these have these little cutouts here and it's because this is a magnetic palette. And so you can either refill these products with the same one or you can pop them out and put a different product in there. And yet it's very steady and secure. So nothing's gonna fall out. And while this is really heavy duty cardboard, it's not as heavy as that smaller face palette that I used kind of late summer from Ofra. So anyway, I've used this just once. So let's go in. We're gonna just have some fun playing around with some of these shadows and their highlighters. I will pop on the screen here some swatches and they really seem to be very smooth overall, so we'll see how they perform. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of this banana powder as my kind of 
brow bone highlight shade and then I think I am going to pull in another shadow from another palette just for a little extra brightness there under the brow but this is a real smooth powder and I'm guessing you can use this as a setting powder on your face too or under the eyes and then I'm going to, for a little more brightness under the brow, I'm gonna go into my little It Girl beauty book and go all the way to the end and use this shadow right here. This is a very brightening shade, so it's kinda of a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna to touch a little bit of that along the brow. And I do have a couple of looks using this palette coming up. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm going to show you the palette upside down so I don't blind you with the mirror. I mean, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and none of them have colors on the backs of them. So I'll just have to show you and point to it. So this is like a warm chestnut brown and I'm going to use a Morphe M504 and just put this through the crease. And I don't really have a particular look in mind. I'm just looking at these colors thinking how I would normally put them together and I think that's what I'm gonna do. So um, we're gonna put a little bit of plum in there, a little bit of pink. I have a couple of lip glosses that I want to test out that are more in the pink and purple family. So I think that's the direction we're gonna head with our eyeshadow as well. Next we're gonna go in with this deep matte plum shade and I'm using a Morphe M433. It is time to clean some brushes. <laughs> I'm just going to put this in the outer corner and you can see how easily these shadows are blending. They are soft, but I don't, I mean, I'm not scrubbing my brush in them, but you know, putting my brush in, it's not causing a lot of kick up. I am tapping off my brush slightly, but very easy to build. The pigmentation is really nice. I'm going to take this in just about a third of the way on the outer corner, but keeping it really nice and soft and then just real lightly blend that through the crease. And then I'm just taking my brush more on the side with no extra product, just gently kind of feathering that up towards the brow. So it gives us kind of this nice little hazy, um, pinky purpley look there. Kind of like that. For our lid shade, I'm going to start off with this one. This is the kind of soft, shimmery pink color. Oh, that's really nice. Very smooth. And it comes across as metallic, but it doesn't look chunky or anything on the eyes. That is really pretty. Really like that color. And then I'm just gonna take my brush with no extra product and just feather the edge of that shimmer shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with this It Cosmetics No Tug Eyeliner, and I've really enjoyed this. This is just a sample size in black. And I am just going to line the outer edge of my eye and I'm going to go up just slightly here before getting to the outer corner. Um, but I don't really feel like I'm going to uh, make this too thick of a line. So I want enough so that it just lifts the outer corner there. And then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of this along the lower lashes about a third of the way across and then use my finger so you can see I just really smudged that into the lash line and then we'll take a little bit of shadow over the top of this I don't want anything too dark today and then I'm going to take the EB 21 from Sedona lace and a little bit of that plum shade and go right over the top edge of that liner it almost makes that black liner look just more of like a real dark plum. So it just softens it a little bit. It keeps that definition there. And then I'm going to go in with this angled brush from Aesthetica. It's a little bit of a thicker angled brush. It's kind of like the Real Techniques one. 
and I want to use a little bit of that plum shade right on the lower lashes and I like this thicker angled brush because it gives me more of a smudged line under there without kind of making eyeshadow fly everywhere and get into my eyes. Um, so it allows you to kind of get right up close to the lashes, but it also smudges that eyeshadow at the same time. And then on the outer corner, just gonna make sure I connect those two. So it just has this nice, soft, smoky definition there. And I'll take a little bit here on along the lash line where I always get a little carried away with my mascara. <laughs> this will help cover up any mistakes I make there. All right, it just cleaned up under the eye and I really didn't have a whole lot of fallout, so that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna go in with this new concealer. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's their Conceal and Hydrate. I tried their original one and it was way too dry for me, but I have not applied any under eye corrector, so we're gonna see how this works. Um, I've used this, I think, two times before today and so far I've been very impressed. It did not dry out my under eye area and it really did do a good job of concealing the darkness. And you can see, I don't know if you can tell, it has a little subtle pink tint to it which I think makes it extra brightening all right, and then I'm gonna go back with just a little more of my foundation stick here and blend kind of the edge of those two together. And then I'm gonna use just a little bit of that here under the nose, maybe my dark spot here. Now, as you can see, my skin actually has quite a lot of glow. So um, it's definitely, I mean, it says demi matte, but I mean, there's really not a whole lot matte about that foundation. For me, I definitely need to powder because it's showing some texture um, I'm not crazy about, but I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I used to use this years ago and recently repurchased. And I do really like this for kind of a glowy, moisturized look. There's no shimmer in this, but if you've got drier skin, you'll really enjoy this formula. And even though these do come in colors, so I have it in light plus, I don't really feel like it adds a ton of coverage, but um, you'll see it does just make the skin perfected looking. Not makeup-y, but um, you'll see as we take down the shine here, um, it really helps disguise pores and imperfections. Okay, so I'm pressing in the lines. That concealer, it definitely has to be set, I think. And then I'm going to do a real light dusting of powders. I'm doing a combination of the Kat Von D Locket Powder, and this is the Brightening Powder in Petal, and Peach. Peach is a little too dark, and Petal's a little too light. So I just kind of blended those two together, and this is just a mini Real Techniques. I think it's the contour brush, but I think this came out last year. And I really like it for setting powder, just for a very light application of under eye setting powder. Okay, I'm not crazy about how the complexion's looking, but let's add a bronzer and everything and then we'll go back and assess the situation. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the Ofra palette. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this bronzer shade is quite warm, so I'm going to use my 919 from Sedona Lace. We're gonna use this more as a bronzer, um, kind of on the upper part of the cheek, but I'm gonna go real light. These are super pigmented. You can see that, whoa, 
Little goes a long way. They're really nice and soft powders, but you can see, wow, that's a lot of warmth. So definitely not a shade to contour with. So kind of bummed about that, but I'd be interested to know if on their website they sell a contouring, a more of a contour color that you could swap out for this because then it would make this more of a travel friendly palette for me. I wouldn't have to take a contour powder separately, but it is a nice warm, I mean, it really warmed up the complexion nicely, so that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and add a little blush while we're here, and I'm going to use this blush. I've not used this one yet, so it looks pretty pigmented. Oh, yeah, and it did kick up quite a bit of powder in the pan, so I am going to tap off on the back of my hand. Oh, you can see. All right, then we'll apply to the cheeks. Okay. It didn't apply too strongly, which is a good thing. All right, we'll get a little more on our brush here. Yeah, I know that looks pretty strong, but <laughs> whoa, really strong. All right, I'm gonna go back to my powder brush. We're just gonna knock that down a little here. I am gonna go in to this one right here and if you can see, it has multiple colors, but when you swirl it together, that's the color you get in the swatch. This one I have tried before. This is a very peachy gold, and then this one's a very bronzed color. So this is the one that matches me the best. So I'm gonna take the MAC 140 fan brush, and I'm just really lightly gonna swirl those. These are real soft powders, but they're not powdery, and oh my goodness, this is gonna be enough for both cheeks. I mean, just the lightest pressure and can you see all that glow? Holy smokes. Ofra highlighters are no joke. Really smooth and buttery formula and highly, I mean, basically more on the metallic side. So if you like subtle highlights, <laughs> this is not for you. But if you really like that nice, beautiful glow, but you can see it just smooths into the skin. I don't feel like it overly emphasizes texture, even though it is quite a lot of glow. I just feel like, oh, it's really pretty. And then I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna take my finger into the, lightest side of this. It's kind of like the golden side. Now I'm going to use that for inner corner highlight. I'm going to take the E30 from Sigma and now blend a little bit more of that onto the lid. All right, so for contour, I have this Kevin Aquan, what's it called? The Contour Book. He became very famous for, I think it was this medium sculpting shade, and then he came out with others. So there's a light, medium, and dark. So I'm gonna go in with the medium sculpting on the F05 from Sigma and add some shape to my cheeks. So as I am doing this, I will give you just the brief update on my life. <laughs> um, I just feel like I have been going um, 110 miles an hour, seven days a week, working until all hours of the night to try and get all of my jobs and my volunteer um, positions done. and. It's just been too much. I just can't do it all. And I have been so pleased that my YouTube channel has grown so much this last year. And thank you to all of you for sharing my videos and just doing all you've been doing to support me and my channel. And so um, in consulting with my husband and several other friends and family members, um, I decided that my 19 piano students, it was time to say goodbye. So piano, um, I've been teaching here in California for um, almost seven years. And then I taught years ago when I was kind of just out of high school, actually. So um, it's just time for a break. And 19 students was just a lot. 
on top of everything else and I want a little more flexibility to after be. consulting with everybody and just through a lot of prayer and um, just a lot went into this decision, but um, I have decided to stop teaching and that will allow me more time to devote to my YouTube channel and just to seeing um, how this grows. I've just enjoyed getting to know you all and you all have some wonderful video ideas and I want to be able to do those. So look forward to more videos and um, just continuing to try and help you all out, have fun with your makeup, have fun with your hair, and just enjoy beauty and enjoy just that confidence that makeup and hair can give you, which translates to other areas of your life as well. So just want to say a big thank you all for your support and I'm excited for what is to come. So, all right, let's go on to brows, something that's not real exciting here. <laughs> I do have a new product though that I have been testing out. I've, I've been trying this for a couple weeks now. It's from Thrive and it is their Instant Brow Fix. I have really enjoyed this. There's something about their formula, um, but I do still go around the edge of my brow with a pencil to give some definition first. And I'm gonna use the Urban decay brow blade and I'm using the waterproof pencil part. So I just kind of do something like that, fill in a little bit. Um, actually, I don't want to fill in too much because I'm going to use, use the brow pen powder from the Ofra palette. So, okay, I'm going to go back to the palette and I think these are brow powders. There is nothing indicating about them on the back or on the back of these pans, but they look like brow powder colors to me. I'm assuming you could use these on the eyes too, um, but they are nicely pigmented. I'm going to use the more taupey brown color. I'm going to go real light though because it looks like it could be, no, it's not too dark. What a difference a brow makes, right? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go over the top of it with a little bit of this brow gel. And by the way, the color I have is called Audrey. So all of her color names are ladies or women's names, I believe, for all of her products. But this, I mean, it really gives good hold, but it also just, I mean, you can really color the skin underneath if you need to. Um, okay, before applying mascara and my lip product, I'm going to add a little more powder to the face. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I mean, it, it, my face is really glowy. I need to powder down just a little bit or I might be losing some of my makeup throughout the day. So I love to use the Becca Hydra Mist uh, Powder kind of in this final stage. If I get done with my makeup and I'm still feeling like I've got a lot of kind of my pores showing here, and I am though going to use this new sponge. It's from Real Techniques. It's their powder sponge. It's so interesting. I've used it once, um, kind of more under the eye, but um, it has like a velvet texture. You can use it wet or dry. I didn't feel like using it wet really did anything. So I'm going to use it dry today and I'm going to use the flat side to just press in that powder right here, mostly in the T zone. And I'll show you just half of my face. So you can see the difference. I mean, I just love this powder for this purpose, just to kind of perfect everything at the very end. All right, let's curl our lashes. This is the Tweezerman eyelash curler for round eyes. On my upper lashes, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. I'm gonna use this right into the roots of my lashes instead of adding actual liner to tight line, I'm gonna use this. 
And then I'm going to use my Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. And then I'm going to use the Tight Line Mascara on my lower lashes and really get this into the roots of the lashes. Okay, so I fixed my hair and I'll do a spin around in a moment because I did just have my hair cut this morning. So I'll show you that. But before we get to that, I'm gonna finish off the lips. I did apply the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot around the edge. And then I'm gonna skip liner today. I know, shocker, but it's because I'm gonna just do a gloss. Now I just picked up, oh my goodness, did you see this? It is a set of full size lip glosses and I used my 20% off with Ulta to get it. And there's a couple shades in here that I already have, so I'm going to gift those. But um, one of the shades that I already have is called Saint Tropez. So I'm gonna apply this first, and then we're gonna go in with one of the crazy shimmery colors just to see how it looks. Um, so this one is a beautiful, uh, more metallic pink. It has a gold shift. It's really pretty. These smell really nice. They say they're vanilla lip glosses and I would say yes, they have a real nice vanilla scent. And while they are pretty pigmented and have decent staying power, they're not super sticky. But okay, and then because this whole video is about experimentation, right? Um, look at this fun one right here. This is called, what's it called? night sky and I don't know oh, look at that is that not just so fun oh my word so okay before I apply that I'm going to just blot my lips because these can get a little thick on the lips and goopy if you're not careful so now I'm gonna go over it with this lip gloss and this when I swatched it it doesn't have a lot of you would think this is a real dark color but you'll, you can see the background is a pretty sheer lavender base, but it has tons of sparkle. It's so pretty. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Look how fun that is. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but um, it is just adding a really nice bit of some purple sparkle and shine. That is really fun. Now, the reason why I didn't apply this just by itself, because my experience with these that have a lot of glitter through them is they will stick to the lips and throughout the day, you end up with just glitter on your lips. So that's something to be aware of. But if you put them over another color, like a lipstick or something, I think it helps all of it just kind of wear off more evenly. But all right, so here's the finished makeup look. And after applying that Becca Hydra Mist Powder, I actually really like how the skin looks now. So I will notate in the description box below how well this foundation and everything holds up through the day. Since this is my first like full day of wearing this, I will let you know. But overall, my skin feels very light. Like I don't feel like I have a ton of cake face of makeup on or anything. And as far as this Ofra Pro palette goes, I really like the products that are in here. So I think they did a great job and I am all about being able to switch pans out and customize the palette to what I want it to be. The contour palette from Kevin Aquan, still kind of on the fence about it, whether it's really my favorite, but I'll continue to use it and keep you posted. And then of course the lip gloss, just super fun. And I do know I like the formula. Now, as far as my hair goes, I'll just give you a brief glimpse of my new do here. And on this side as well. Um, I did have her trim up around the ears and my sideburns are a little bit cleaner and shorter and a little more feathery. And then what I had her do here on the top, this section we left longer 
and thinner and then this front bang section she trimmed it just a little bit so it's not so much in my eyes and I feel like it's gonna give me a little more styling versatility and then the back I had her actually taper this and blend it a little bit more so there's not as much of an undercut disconnect right there it is much more blended so, and then at the edge, she feathered it down so it'll keep laying flat down there at the bottom. So that's the updates on my hair. The life updates, again, I am so looking forward to just having more time to devote here on YouTube. I am though still gonna be continuing with music and hopefully recording another CD in the next year or so. Um, all of that being said, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And as I leave you, I'm going to leave you with some music from my Christmas CD and a few pictures from home. Merry Christmas to you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.